Welcome back, everybody. Good day. Hello. Oh, you yeah, have to take this asshole down first. Otherwise, the guys will fall and die. Ugh. So you gotta sneak around and get to the top. I'll need to take out the operator first. You can't take any of them down. That vision is your detective mode is your best friend in this situation. A best friend he's not listening to. <laughs> okay, um They had to get to that guy right there. Ah uh, grappling hood! You can't grapple. Too. Fuck your crouch. Careful. <clears throat> There's a vent right there. Can you draw? Not right now. Batman's as good as dead. We'll see what my arm spikes have to say about that. Oh shoot! Bat panic! That's the guy you have to take down anyway. Still in danger. Yeah, you got lucky. You were supposed to go in that vent and, uh... Sneak up this way, but... <clears throat> Any changes you got? Conversations? Anybody? Hey, you had something. Uh, I have a couple, but Go ahead. you're really interested about yours. Uh, I was thinking of other DC characters I like, and. Uh, Another one of my favorites is uh, Supergirl. I don't like the TV version of her because it's basically female Superman and I don't like Superman. <clears throat> Wait, you were over there and he got pushed over there. Yes. What the hell? Ragdoll physics. You but, bounced uh, her comic book versions of her are pretty cool. Uh, basically, her deal is she's stronger than Superman because uh, she orbited closer to the Earth for like the 30 years Superman was living on Earth. So she soak up. So she soaked up. So much sun. Yes, <coughs> a lot more of the solar radiation. 
Mm-hmm. So, she's supposed to be stronger than him, but because she is unused to her powers, uh, she has little to no control. Uh, and she's just in general more likable than her cousin. Use your detective mode more often. At one point, she joins the Red Lantern, so that's nice. pretty dope. That's pretty cool. And then, uh, she quits them, because I guess she's like, you know, maybe being a rage demon <laughs> isn't the healthiest? It's as good as dead. Uh, but it's fun. But, uh, she's cool. Kind of disappeared. Remember, they got called up. <laughs> you heard the boss. Did any of you forget to clock in for the day? That's the last one. Anyway, you uh had something interesting. Yes, um there is uh actually this um <clears throat> this really interesting thing I read. Uh basically there is this researcher at Purdue University, and I'm trying to find his name because it's in a language I am not familiar with. Uh, Win Zhu Wu? Is that how you spell that? Pronounce that? The. I'm sorry. When Zuho, when Zuho, I think. I no Zuho. Anyway, he um, he's a researcher at Purdue University, and he basically got inspired by movies to create a device that people can wear. Do you have something? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, but yeah, he he basically got this idea to make an a device that people can wear that uses liquid metals like uh, gallium probably yeah. since mercury is such a dangerous one and it the idea behind it is to take the excess energy generated when moving with kinetic energy and instead of it being wasted, the idea is that the liquid metals inside the machine convert it into a usable energy for the the main intent right now is for soldiers, but later on it'll they're planning on adapting it for commercial use. And he's saying that it's predicted to be introduced into the market in about 2028, hmm. Hmm. which is very interesting. It'll be like, what, in our, close to our 40s? Yeah, something like that. <clears throat> yeah, liquid, liquid metals being used to convert kinetic energy into electrical energy. Very interesting. Save up so a lot. A that lot. sounds dope. Does. Yeah. Anyway, who's ready for more boss battles? Of the exact same shit. Of course it's going to hurt. I mean, just take a look at your back. That doesn't look painful at all. No, that looks painful. Nope. 
Anyway, it's the same stick. It would be really funny if they turned against you. Just like, it you, would. you shot us. That would be hilarious. <laughs> and then they carry Batman out of there. Yeah, you can have them hit each other. <laughs> let's, let's, let's go get some breaks. We're friends now. Just because our boss shot us. And then Batman kills him because, I mean, uh -oh, he no. doesn't kill him. Something else not related to him kills them because they're monstrosities. So what? Because they're big mutated humans that are suddenly monsters? Yeah. This is a cool thing to do. You can ride on one of them and have them hit each other. <laughs> that seems like an unfair assessment. Anything else you guys want to talk about? Sparkle Shimmer had a few others. Alright. Um, well, there's this other thing I wanted to talk about that was, uh, another adventure. Because that's basically all I did. Let's go and ahead. I, I read, I read, uh, a bunch of scientific articles. And, um, I'm trying. There is this thing that was invented a few months ago. And it's currently being improved upon. It's a, it's called a robotic skin, and what it is, is it's a bunch of mechanical and electrical components hidden inside a fabric, so you have servos, stuff like that, hidden inside this fabric, and the point of it is, it was invented for astronauts, because they don't have access to they don't have immediate access to any, like, equipment that they might need on short notice. So, what these people did is they made this robotic skin so that astronauts can uh, take just any scrap that they have lying around and build a robot with it that can help service their station. <clears throat> I've destroyed the Titan production facility. Yeah, that's all interesting. Yes, it is. Just when you think it can't get any worse. They've been using Science a is venom cool, yo. hybrid to create the Titan. Science structure. is always cool. The plant's the key. And there's only one person on Arkham Island who can help us. And what makes you think Poison Ivy will help you? If her plants are at risk, she'll listen. I have a sample are of they? pheromone signature. Are they really? She'll be somewhere in the gardens. I'll track her down. First. I wasn't talking about Poison Ivy. I was talking about Alfred. Get him over here. I need a back rub. <laughs> <laughs> Get the cryptographic sequence there. Upgrades. We're going to need them later. He has apparently decided not to. Well, I, I, I can't hardly hear him because of the sound. It's hard to hear. What did he say? Over. Over. He's telling Over. you to get the cryptographic Over. sequencer upgrades. Those? Yes. We're going to need them later. <clears throat> There's no way out through this elevator shaft. I'll need to go back the way I came. Because if you increase um, the range, you can you can actually target long distance with them. Increase its power, you have a better chance with this. Which the helpful.
Time to get an upgrade. To get over this oh, a new gadget. This kind of pissed me off a bit. Why? Not this gadget. Because you think. You, you, you see the bat wing right there. Yeah. And you think you're about to use it. And you're like, oh boy, the bat wing. Fuck yeah. Oh, it doesn't just drop something off. You're like, what? That's it. That's all the Batwing does in this game. Lame. That's actually disappointing. It is disappointing. You're lame. You know what makes it even worse? He could have had it drop off everything he could need in the game. Exactly. At the beginning of the game. Mm-hmm. He even had the explosive gel in the fucking truck of his own Batmobile. He didn't even have the Batclaw. Which doesn't make any sense. Well, you know, progression. By the way, the doctors are dead. Spoilers. Well, they're dead right there. You don't know they're dead. Maybe they're sleeping. Joker killed them on the way out. They're all dead. Oh, Joker was busy while I fought his monsters. You'll pay for this. He's just taking a nap. Batman just said they're dead. I'm well, sorry. is he a doctor? Yeah. He's not a doctor. He's a detective. That's different. Is he detective doctor? Yes. Okay, then. I don't see any PhD on this cape. No, you have to use the line launch over there. He's sniping out the Joker teeth. Excellent. Whee! Excellent. Kill them. Riddler trophy and the tree. It's almost like they want you to have an upgrade. I'm gonna leave this trophy here. He can get it back on the way to the boss fight later down the line. You're just kind of in plain sight, dude. You're not trying. It's a darlings. I know you know. My poor darlings. Yes, I know he's found us. But I won't let him... Ivy, you're talking to yourself again. I'll kill Stop it. Ivy, I know Dr. Young mutated these plants to produce venom. Yes, and I heard it through the grapevine the evil woman paid the price. <laughs> I need you to help me create an antidote. Why should I? Let Joker have his fun. I'll enjoy watching you squirm. <laughs> You've been in the dark too long. Every plant on this island will get the same unless you cooperate. There's a plant growing deep in Arkham Island. Only if oh, look. Where do I find it? I love how oh, her hair flows like that. Oh, we're going to Croc now. You didn't think it would be easy. <laughs> Croc. We haven't seen him in a while, have we? No. Go back to your cell. Not since the last time where I tried to open that door. He's literally trying to knock it down to get to me. I'm here. It's almost like they forgot about him. <laughs> I exist. Well, if the world of Batman existed, I'd know where we'd find him, uh, Sunshine. He'd be hanging out with Poison Ivy. There's nothing on the system about where he's kept. Why being brain controlled? No, 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 no. I can just see it. He'd show up in his Meyer uniform. Here, have some potting soil. <laughs> oh, look at all those mooks. Kill them. You're going to. Do it. It's not like, wait, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> I love that so much. Oh, only a spare. I just beat them up real quick. Just punch and counter, dude.
Oh, there's one left. Bam! Now we leave. You have to go through that vent. So, any more tangents to talk about before we leave the garden? Currently. Hmm. I see you, Riddler Chocolate, but we'll be back for you later. Alright. So I guess we go to the sewers now. Uh back to the sewers. I love that show. What? Oh, when I was growing up, there was a show on TV, it was called Teenage Mutant, didn't, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Back to the Sewers. Hmm. Look it up, it's true. I, I believe you. And again, TMNT is supposed to be about, like, in the sewers with ninjas. I liked it. In fact, I still watch it to this very day, but I don't watch the newer versions of it. Oh, they turned the power back on for the water. Oh, well. Can you get a strike? What? <laughs> Use the magic of ragdoll physics to keep him from falling into the electric water. There's no stealth. Huh? Oh shit, there is! <laughs> Never mind! I'm positive you're dead. <laughs> I'm positive, sorry about that. <laughs> that was funny. You gotta admit that. There's oh no, shit. There's no stealth. Oh shit, I'm full of holes. <laughs> That was the last stealth section. Oh, hey, there's my kidneys. <laughs> I appear to have an excess of iron in my well, system. Well, time to leave. <laughs> All right. How many guys are there? All of them. Five. There was that one guy that was by himself. You could have actually like taken down real quick by like a you know back take down. They're just trying to start a burger restaurant. Oh, quickly. <laughs> Alright. Guess we gotta do more stealth. Or you could just leave. That's true. There's nothing keeping you here. I don't know if I could leave without getting shot up. You could. Come on. Come on, you know you want to come this way. Come here, bad guy. Oh, you were just going to be a douche, aren't you? Yeah, he's doing that. The statue is very... I think you can just leave. Just well, there's the door, so... We can glide kick him, go in the room real quick, and be done. Not ground takedown. Secure the area before continuing. Fuck this man in particular. <laughs> now they're gonna look up the gargoyles. No, you really can't leave. That's fucking stupid. It is. There's no one left to hear. You gotta wait until they leave. Have you noticed that every single one of these gargoyles has their tongue sticking out? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> What's up? 
Ah, uh, they just like them some metal. They like a little bit of Gene Simmons. <laughs> Nope. I'm going to sit here and stare at this particular floor panel for exactly five minutes. Then glide kick the other one. He's just the last one left. He's on the second floor. There he is. Top floor. Now you know. That wasn't so bad. Oh, let's get the hell out of here. I'm sick of this place already. Too much green. There's Not no weed to smoke. Not enough green. And no weed. Shame on you. I want him dead. I won't let him hurt my baby dead. I can't believe that poor little Ivy crying in a dog. Oh, for fuck's sake, Ivy. Well, time to get the bat flamethrower. I wish there was a bat flamethrower. Shall I give her another? This is the part where some of the um, previous areas in the game are blocked off. be having a different effect on Ivy. Her plants are growing. They'll soon be out of control. And we'll be soon ready to actually call it apart right now. In fact, I believe it's time to call it apart. Oh, look. Looks like the plants are mutating further. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's call it apart today. Alvita said, later. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.